Hey guys, Tom from All Star, so I'll bring you a video on the Elite Force Grey Revolver. Now this Elite Force Revolver is obviously something different that you don't normally see every day on the airsoft field. Um, this is a full custom revolver, um, antique style gun that are not typically made in airsoft, but Elite Force went ahead and made one and made it one of the best ones on the market in my opinion. Um, so starting off with a couple of features, it does have a rubberized pistol grip. Um, this is a very sturdy feeling pistol grip, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it has a lot of grip on it, so you know you're not going to be dropping your pistol. Um, and also has that rubberized finish, like I said, so it's nice and soft to hold, it's comfortable, and it's just a really nice grip. Now, inside of this grip, there's a screw right there, that is where your CO2 cartridge goes. So this is a CO2 powered revolver, your CO2 is hidden in your pistol grip, so it's not, you know, hanging out anywhere, whatever, it's nice and concealed right there in your pistol grip. Now moving up onto the actual receiver itself. It is full metal, it's a full metal pistol, um, it does have a little bit of weight to it, probably weighs 4 or 5 pounds, um, it, it's a very sturdy pistol, it's full metal, and it is coated with this grey finish, this grey finish looks really really good, um, I'm not sure how camera the how good the camera can pick it up there, but it looks amazing, um, just Elite Force quality for you really, it does have the trades of Elite Force right here, TTB revolver, and then it does have the warnings on here in white. Um, it looks really good, and it just gives it that kind of aggressive look with the trades on it and the Elite Force logo. And it just looks good. So, this is a revolver, so it does have the hammer. Um, so, to shoot it, you can either pull back the hammer. As you can see, it will spin and put a round in the chamber. And then when you pull the trigger, obviously it's going to shoot. But, you can also pull the trigger and it will shoot just like that. So, it is double action and single action. Um, as you saw there, I can decock it, so if I cocked it, and then pull the trigger, and then slowly let go of the hammer, it will decock the gun. Um, so it's just a nice feature, so you don't have to waste one of your BBs, since there are only six in this gun. Um, so this is a revolver, so it does only have six shells in it, as you can see. To get to your shells, there's a little black button right here, you're just going to pull that back, and then push this out. So, you can have that revolver look with the spin, and then load it. But the shells, they are also full metal, here, except for the plastic tip on them. Now what you're going to do to load this is put a BB of your choice, um, preferably like 0.2 to 0.25 right there in the top. Put it in there and then put it face forward inside of the gun and that's it. You're loaded up, ready to go. Then you can go inside this back in there and you are ready to go inside your game. So I'm going to take this gun over to the Chrono, load it up with CO2 and, and BBs and show you how it shoots. Alright guys, so I have the Elite Force revolver loaded up with Valken CO2 and Valken 0 0.20 gram BBs. Alright, so once you guys saw, once the Chrono finally read the Elite Force revolver, it did shoot a little hot, it shot around 400 FPS. Um, it shot around 421 that one time I read it. And that is because I just put the CO2 in. Um, obviously it has to die down a little bit. So, eventually, once you shoot it, probably 10 or 15 times, it will dim down to about 390. But, as soon as you put it in, it's going to be shooting a little bit hot. So, it's not really the best gun for CQB. It is marketed as a CQB revolver, but, as you guys saw, it is shooting really hot because it is CO2. So, it's a very, very good outdoor gun. Um... In the end, this gun is just going to be great for messing around, having fun. Um, it's not really going to be a, you know, a, a serious gun because it does only have six shells in it, so you only get six shots. So unless you're going to be carrying 40, 50 shells on you with the field, then it's just a gun to go out there, have fun, mess around a little bit, and just enjoy the airsoft. So if you guys enjoyed this video on the Elite Force Revolver, go ahead and leave a like in the light section. Leave a comment if you have any questions about this gun. Thank you guys for watching. It's Todd from All Airsoft. Signing out.